Hey guys, Ragnar54 here, and welcome back to another RuneScape video. Uh, so, first of all, the reason why I haven't made a video in so long is because I have actually been on vacation in Europe. So, that was really fun. I got to practice my French and see some really cool sights. So, that was pretty awesome. If you guys want to know anything about that, nothing really too exciting happened. But maybe I can make uh, a video about that or talk about that in my next video. But I am back now for the rest of the summer, so I'll be able to make videos now without any interruptions. And I hopefully will be able to notify you guys if something does come up. And the reason why I didn't before going on this vacation is I was meaning to make a video on the day before I left, but uh, I realized a bit too late that's not the best idea. You know, you gotta pack everything last minute, and I had a pretty early flight, so I didn't really have time to do that. So I'll apologize for that, but getting over that stuff what is new so as you can see I am sitting here looking like a boss on my lowest quality possible fixed screen with my dry gores so yes I do have dry gores that is one addition and as you can see I also have a bandos helmet that's I, I have it because I'm not going, going to do a slayer task that's why I'm not wearing my slayer helm and as you can see I have a fury so if you're wondering about that I have a little story to tell you guys uh, I decided, you know, you know what would be awesome if, is if I took my new dry gores and went to um, Bandos. So I'm like just chilling, you know, killing Bandos. I got like eight kills or something, you know, just solo. I was soloing it. I was doing really well. And I was like, dang, I could solo Bandos, you know, make some good money. And then all of a sudden, I have no idea what happened, but uh, I was dead. So I died at Bandos again after last time I died at Bandos. If you guys remember that, it was quite a while ago. I said, told myself I'm never going there again alone. I'm just not going to do it. I, I don't like dying. I don't know many people that do. And I obviously, I couldn't get back in time and get the kill count and stuff. And I lost everything besides my Drygores and Saradome and Sword, which I had brought to do the kill count. Uh, so that sucks. I lost like 30 mil doing that and a fire cape and my Slayer Helmet, so I was really disappointed about that. I got another Slayer Helmet and stuff, so it's okay. Um, but that sucks. Um, I lost like 30 mil doing that. So, but uh, I went back and did Bandos again with a friend this time, and it went a lot better. Uh, so I'm glad that I mean, we didn't get any drops or anything. We did like 10 kills duo, and then we left and then I left for my vacation. So I'll be looking forward to maybe asking him if he wants to go duo again. Uh, I like Bandos, it's pretty fun, and I've never got, I, I've gotten one drop uh, in my life, and it was like Bandos boots or something. Uh, so that that's not the greatest, but maybe one day I can get a drop. So that is why I have my Fury and stuff. I did have another Fire Cape, so now I'm just, I'm down to my last Fire Cape. Hope I won't have to do Jad again anytime soon. Uh, and that's why I have the Fury, because I didn't really want to spend another, like, 7 mil on a Whisper, when it's not even that much better. Um, Skill-wise, as you can see, I have 8.5 mil Slayer experience right now, which is awesome. That is two mil, over two mil Slayer more than my last video. Uh, I am level 96 Slayer now, so I'm getting up there with only, uh, oh, I guess not only. I, I still have one mil till 97. I, I remember, I think I recently got that uh, right before I left for my vacation because I did have like a week in between my last video and when I went on vacation. So I also got 84 herb lore, and you know what that means, guys. I have super anti-fires. That is amazing. I got 84. I don't think I needed 84. I could have gotten 83 and used the green men's sale, I think it is, to boost it. But if I'm going to get herb lore someday anyways, I want overloads and stuff, and might as well get it up now. I still have like a crap load of super ranging potions. That's why I don't have very much money. Um, and I also have some water talismans that I was flipping right when the Illumination Aura thing came out and held on to them a bit too long. Hopefully I can sell them back so I don't lose too much money. Uh, I think uh, I can get just about like a 500k or 1 mil loss on that, so I'm not complaining about that, that I didn't lose more. Uh, but yeah, the... In oh, it's not... Oh, that is very interesting. On the French servers, it's called uh, Illumination, not Enlightenment. My bad. So it is actually the Enlightenment Aura. Uh, that's awkward. Uh, so... I used that for my herb lore and summoning. I have 86 summoning now. It didn't give me anything new. I can't wait for 88, because then I can use the unicorn, which is what I am planning on killing, if you guys did not tell, the QBD. That is why I wanted the super anti-fires. 
I really cannot wait for that because I have my dry gores and I have my super anti fires. Um, I did try out the dry gores quite a bit already. I believe they're almost like halfway. Oh uh, yeah, 69.4%, and the other one's probably a little bit less. Yeah, 0.4% difference, not really that much. Uh, I love these Trigors. They're so much better than the Ceridom and Godsword. I killed some Aeroths with it, and I just, I really like it. Uh, where is my, there it is, my Ceridom and Godsword. I still have this for tasks that don't need this, or when I need prayer or something like Hellhounds, I'm not going to waste my Trigors on them. Uh, and I can just uh, literally AFK the entire task with my Ceridom and Godsword with Auto Retaliate on. But yeah, so um, I just got back. I don't know what all has changed. I have been on Reddit and stuff uh, to see like what the updates were. And I heard about one which pretty much made my entire life like 500 times better. And that is the Companion app. I'm sure most of you guys have heard about this. If you have not, I would highly, highly, highly recommend looking into it. What it is, is it basically, they've had this companion app thing out for a while, and I was pretty excited when they first released it a while back, but it was basically just a way that you could check to look at your GE offers. You couldn't do anything with them um, to see if they're completed and talk with your friends on your phone or on a tablet or something like that. So I was like, oh, that's stupid. That's just like, I mean, if I want to talk to my RuneScape friends, I'll actually get on RuneScape. But recently, I think it was about a week ago, they added uh, interactions with the GE and your bank. So you can literally flip or merch or talk to your friends or do anything um, like from anywhere if you have Wi-Fi or 4G. So since I have 4G on my phone, I'm thinking like, does this mean like I'll just be flipping during school and whenever I'm not at home? So I cannot wait for that. I already made one or two mil when I was in Europe when I could find some Wi-Fi. Um, I didn't have too much time because it came out relatively recently. I am home now for the rest of the summer, so uh, as I said, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use it too much, but I'm hoping I will because uh, that is, that's just amazing. I don't even have to be at home to flip now. So now I can make money, and then when I'm at home, I can do Slayer. Um, first thing, I, I got these uh, shiny two-leaf clover necklace, so um, I don't really know what this does. I just got it on the Squeal of Fortune, or the Treasure Hunter thing. Bonus XP, uh, cool, I got two of them. Uh, not sure if that's good or not. But yeah, so I was in the middle of gearing up for QBD. I've never done QBD before. Uh, the one time I tried was when I was trying to forge my royal crossbow, and I obviously died because I didn't mean I wasn't meaning to kill her. I I just wanted to forge my royal crossbow, and then I learned that you need 70 smithing, so that was fun. I just died and lost food or whatever. Um, but yeah, so I'm getting ready to do her now. I think this is going to be a relatively good setup. Uh, I don't know if you guys do QBD a lot, but with my new Drygores and Super Anti-Fires, I figured I I really had to had to at least at least try to kill QBD. Keyword try. So I'm not gonna do that right now because I don't want to die on camera. So I'll probably be perfecting that over the next few days. And maybe in uh, tomorrow or the next few days I'll be making a video uh, of how, how my QBD has gone. I've heard that if you have a black dragon task for Slayer, it's just really amazing because your Slayer helmet does makes you do a lot of damage. Um, trying to think if there's anything else new that happened. I don't think there is. Maybe a few levels here and there. Um, I could check my last video really quick to see if there is any new levels. I don't think there is. Maybe like a uh, uh, I got like an attack level or something. Um, Obviously, three levels of Slayer is going to get me a few levels, but at this point, it's not really too big of a deal if I get, like, one level. I've got, I think I got, like, one level here and one magic level, a few HP levels, uh, a few strength levels as well. Uh, probably a few defense levels, too, for that matter. Uh, um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, nothing, nothing else has really changed. I'm just going to be getting back on Slayer now that I'm home. Got a pretty nice tab going. I cannot wait to sell it at 99. That's going to be just an amazing feeling. Uh, actually having money in my money pouch, even after I bought Drygores, 
Uh, I do have, I do, still do have four mil shards, which is, uh, four million is 100 mil. So if I really need something, which I don't think I will, I can always sell my shards. But now that I am back home, I can be flipping and making money. I think flipping will give me enough money to just keep up with what I'm doing. And if I start doing QBD, then I definitely will be able to. If I can make like two mil an hour, three mil an hour, that will make me really happy because it also is fairly good XP as I, as I hear, especially for Slayer. So I will be looking forward to that. If there's anything I missed in this video, I'll be sure and remember it and make another video pretty soon. So you guys can be looking forward to several new videos um, in the very near future as I have a crap load of time and nothing to do with it. So uh, that is all for now. I'll let you guys know what I'm up to in my future videos. And yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.